Hi me again and welcome to the second part of the iPhone tutorial. So before we did the main uh, shape and the top and the bottom, just some kind of primitives uh, on which we will work. And this uh, do this bottom. Uh, but uh, if you try to apply mesh smooth to this, I uh, will see that we uh, hear a lot of mesh. So uh, we will continue to. Uh, model this and after we'll uh, do this uh, side here. So before uh, I start to modify this I will select these two polys, this on the top and this on the bottom and insert this a little bit like this and select these edges here and connect them not once but I don't know, five, five times maybe. So we have here more polys, which is good for us. And let's go modifi uh, modify this. So I will start uh, with this part. First of all, <coughs> I have to move this border a little bit uh, far here. So I will select uh, these, these, and this poly, control edge. And deselect these, because I'm sure the loop function will not working right now. So deselect everything which we don't need right now. Let's go to front by pressing F, Z to zoom and scale this uh, here up and to the side. Like this. Now uh, if I go to perspective, uh, zoom it again, uh, I can see this this edge is too uh, sharp, so uh, back to edge, select this edge, loop it and chamfer it. Uh, chamfer it a little bit more and I will use double chamfer. So like this. Now the same I will do here. Select this, loop it, chamfer it a little bit. Select this top and inset it again, just a little, that we don't have any problems after. And I will make the edges also more round, because uh, 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 yeah, this will be a little better to make more chamfers here and make the edges rounder, because we don't have to use uh, mesh smooth after we just. Uh, could use smooth or something like that. So I will loop them and okay, I will try to zoom inside all ticks to see everything. Okay, maybe not. Chamfer. Chamfer. I will try to chamfer a little bit more. Just let's look on the shape. Okay, a little bit less. Apply. Oops. Chamfer this again. But just a little bit. Okay, we have here uh, something. Let's go to vertex and uh, by gimbal, uh, local. Remove it just a little bit. Now it's and these two. That will it will not touch to each other. Uh, I will just uh, check it a little bit. Oops, no, I can't check it now. I will go step back and use just one champ on this edge. So again, edge and champ it. Not so much. Okay, I like this, it should be okay. A little bit more. Okay, I will keep it like this. Now, <coughs> I will go to vertex and uh, cut this a little bit. Connect uh, this vertex here to the main shape. Okay, let's weld these two together. And cut a little bit more. Okay, too much. 
what's the back and just here it's enough uh, to do it there and I'm, I'll be forming the shape and after when I use mesh mode I hope I will have no cracks in my model so this <coughs> could be enough we'll see after when I turn on the mesh mode now the same we need to do on the other side but here we don't have uh, any edge or on which we can connect it so uh, I will just select uh, this and this edge ok here is some vertex which we don't need yep. select it and delete so again this and this and connect it should be where is the edge no ok once again this and this ok the connect is not working anyway so I will just cut it cut it from here here the same I will do here now steps like before I will do also here so I will select oops these edges on the corner these 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 and these two these select these go to front again Z to zoom and scale this uh, to make it bigger a bit too big just a little bit like this now we'll select this uh, this this and this edge loop them uh, deselect these ones which we don't want let's go to perspective press zoom uh, to loop uh, whatever everything else it's selected ok we don't need to chamfer this edge this this and these ones now chamfer ok this is too less for this let's go to value something like this and for this we will do double chamfer Now let's uh, zoom to this and you can see here are too many vertex. So I will select these ones and weld them together. And this I will try to touch it well to this one. This one too. And I don't need this edge. <coughs> Actually I don't need this edge too, so just delete them. So I'll just delete everything which I don't need. Okay, third one. And the same on the other side. So we're just making some tweaks to our details. Uh, to model a, mobi a mobile phone, it looks very easy like iPhone. Just like a few shapes, buttons, but if you try to do it like it's it right and everything should be like perfectly smooth and stuff like that starting to be easy okay I can select or delete these if I try to weld these together and it don't want to let me so anyway select the bottom poly and set it a little bit just a little bit we don't need much yeah something like this now like before this edge here is too sharp so select it let's chamfer it uh, we can 
here we can go a little bit more and we will do a double chamfer. Or we will try to do a double chamfer. We'll see how it will be oops, looking after. No, don't go away. So just a little bit. Come on. Okay. These ones here, and again, we need to connect the vertex to something. So I'll do just these, these, and the same on the other side. And I hope it will be enough. And uh, we will see. If it will be not enough, uh, we'll modify this a little bit. Two. Too many edges here. So let's delete something. Okay. We don't need that. We'll do it manually now. And when we are here, we'll just do a quick modification also here. Uh, I will select not this edge, but this wall poly here. And I could do it like with coral and deselect these. Now, I will do it later. Uh, you will see what I mean. I should actually cut this a little bit here to make something like this. To get rid of this triangle. And cut this and this here. But I will do this later, right after this one. So the same like before, I will select just this oops, polygons here and press Ctrl Edge to select a lot of edges and especially the edges on the corner or the border. So let's go here again and scale this to make it bigger. Now select these, uh, these, and these at this edge, loop it, deselect this one, uh, chamfer it. Oops. Like I was chamfering it here just once here okay so just a little bit okay where is it okay now I will weld this vertex here <coughs> now select this top edge loop it chamfer it again but now a little bit more apply Again, I want to do a double chamfer also here. Apply. Yep. And the same we will do here. So loop it, chamfer it, okay. And insert a little bit here. Okay. So just now the cutting work. So I'll we'll cut this here here, this down, I don't know, this here, here, and here. Something uh, similar also here. And we will see how it will be looking after. <coughs> I hope it will don't do any problems now. But we will see. Like if anything, we can fix this. It's the good thing, I think, <coughs> on these tutorials. Because uh, I don't try to do the models before doing do them straight when I model them. And like everyone, I do a lot of mistakes. Like, okay, I could do this different, but what now? And when I do a mistake, I have to fix this. So. 
to be nice to do all models like at one time. I start and I finish. <coughs> Sorry. But it's not working like that. Okay, let's see how it will be looking now. Yeah, much better. Uh, okay, let's go zoom on this. Okay, let's keep it to one thing. To it nice and smooth. Okay, here is something and here inside is something, but the rest looks nice. So, okay, I think uh, we are on the good way to fix that. Already did that, just here is something bad, wrong. Uh, let's see what. Okay, let's see what's causing that. Hmm. it looks like it's doing it this one uh, this edge here and here so I'll try yeah okay okay so this is nice and smooth and I think I saw also some bad things inside here so let's look on it yeah there are some things there and also here. Uh, so we'll have to fix also this and we can proceed after this. I hope. Okay, how to fix... Okay, I see that problem. Oh, oh for sure we don't... We don't need that. Okay, come on, delete it. We actually can even... I can even move with this. I can delete it. Okay, I deleted that one and I hope the border will be working here and yeah it is. So we'll try to cap it. Yeah, fine. So a really quick fix uh, by this. I'm sure when I turn this on it will be uh, a little bit strange. Uh, inside it's good, but on the sides and corners it's bad. So I need to cut, make some cuts, which are actually not working much here. I am really thinking to do this again uh, very quickly because I have no mood to find everything which I did before wrong. So okay, uh, I will delete this poly inside. I will select this and grow and do this again quickly. And this time I hope better than before. Now let's check if everything is okay. We can go all Control A and Weld zero. And you see, with zero we already lost two vertex. So let's go like this. I hope uh, every double vertex which was here is already uh, already disappeared, and I hope we didn't uh, made any more mistakes. So we can just quick watch this. Uh, this looks fine. Okay, no problems here. Uh, no problems here. Maybe just a little bit here, which could be cause the welding now. No, it's fine. It's not cause the welding, but something else. It's fine. It's not a big mistake. Uh, we will fix that later. We'll have time. So uh, let's go for this. So I will select border and cap it. Now this should be okay. And again, uh, I need to do the plug. Now I could use some different technique right now. I think it would be better to do it different because I don't think much that uh, the technique before was working 100%. But I'm thinking about how to do it, and actually I have. Hmm. Okay, I will do it the same like before. We'll just make. 
no mistake now, I hope. <clears throat> so I will set this again like this. Uh, I will scale this down. And move it down. And we can go to view now. And I will scale this a little bit in this axis too. Now we have here a lot of vertex, but it should be not a big problem for us, or better for me. <coughs> so let's extrude this. Okay, a little bit more, like this. Okay, now select this edge and loop it, chamfer. I will chamfer, but I will try to chamfer it a little bit more. Now apply and again. Here are the edges a little bit on one place, but it's fine. Now the same I will do on the top, so select the poly, uh, control edge and chamfer it, this I can do a little bit bigger, okay, back, okay, I don't know, one, no it's too much, maybe zero eight, Zero five, yeah, zero five is better. Apply and once more, but less. Can go just like this, and it should be fine. Now here's already something bad. Ooh, what's the vertex and that now? Step by step, and I don't uh, actually I don't see the problem much. I will just move this and these two. They are fixed. Okay, let's try this. Okay, this is fine. I just need to do the inset right now. No, the inset will not work. But uh, this should work a little bit better. Okay, okay. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. My bad. So we have the top, and everything is fine and smooth. Now, anyway, I will better use just smooth modifier than mesh smooth, but uh, it's up to you what you will use. It's anyway, after it will be your model. So now uh, I will check this, ignore my back facing and select these all edges, not to chamfer, but to connect. Again we will do some connections, like I think before we had 15, so keep it 15. And now uh, I will try to select Okay, no back, back facing, so I could do it with drag and drop, or just drag. Okay, too much, it's fine. This, 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 I will deselect everything with uh, what I don't need. <coughs> And I have much more selected than what I wanted. So deselect. Like the stuff which you don't need. It's very quick fork. Now back back here. Uh, I will use bevel instead of extrude for this now. 
a clone mode. Okay, we can't use bell much. So I'll just use like extrude, but with using uh, the bevel function. Uh, we keep it like that, and now I need to chamfer a lot of edges. Now I could try like to do it just like this. And let's see what will happen actually. No, it's fine. It's fine, and I will just fix this one and keep that like it is. Now to fix the top, uh, I will just cut some vertex and don't even think about how to do different. Because uh, this kind of detail, you know, like uh, what people will hardly see. If you want to sell the model, okay, it's different, but okay, cut this yeah. like this. So, in this kind of model, uh, like if you do a render, nobody will okay, show me the part with the bug, okay, okay, zoom, 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 zoom. No, nobody, care. nobody cares. Okay, the cutting is working. So I'll do the same more time. So just to be quick, uh, I'm not telling that I'm doing this. What I will say uh, all the time, or but cheat. Yeah, it's very simple. If you want to sell your models. Uh, it's a little bit different because you know the uh, a lot of people want to sell the models, and if you want to be like the best, you have to give them something uh, what nobody have. So it's a little bit different, but like right now, if we want to do just like for a model of a tutorial and show the people how to do it. Uh, we can afford some things which are not absolutely right. And if you do anyway a model for selling, the hours of working to make it really worth the money. Okay. Okay, nice and smooth. Whew. Nice work. Ah, okay, great. So we have the bottom plug, these two things, which I still don't know what is it. And I think I will apply some texture on that, and I will not uh, use the grid by myself. So we have this nice and smooth, no cracks, which is absolutely important for me that all the models are good modeled. So we have this and this, and <clears throat> we will start the shape for. The thing on the right of the iPhone, so left, no, not, uh, right. So here is just uh, this, and I think we can do this very quickly. So again, we have here a round shape. Now, before I was doing this from a rectangle and adjusting the edges, now I will do a circle here. I will try to do it from a circle actually. And I will convert it to a detailed spline and let's see. <coughs> if you have just uh, four vertex, I need more. So I will insert uh, some like here then the same I will here on the other side and also here. Now 
uh, everything uh, what I need to do right now is just to move them to the right position. So move this here and this here, make it a little bit smaller on both sides. And we have a nice and round shape. Now we will do the shape merge again. But if you are a fan uh, from Boolean, you can do it with Boolean. But because I don't like Boolean apps, and I don't uh, try to don't use it, so I don't know. But if you use Boolean, so sometimes you should know that, and uh, you could know that do a lot of strange thing to uh, to the geometry so pick a shape and let's okay I don't see anything okay <coughs> convert it to poly again and delete the shape again we have this shape here and again the same modeling technique like before and we will try to do it uh, much more quickly right now so uh, let's delete everything which we don't need this this we have these vertex here this one this one these 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 a lot a lot a lot of vertex which we don't need and we will never use let's zoom on that okay these and these, we can keep this here all to make it uh, round and nice. Okay, this we can <coughs> put away that. Now I will select uh, just these vertex and weld. Uh, it's too much for that, but I think this value is. Okay, now I will select this and this and insert that just a little bit, like this, the same like before. I will select this and this. I could make the shape bigger, but I always forgot, uh, forget to do that, so I will have to scale this again. But it's not a problem. That's the oops. That's the thing. It's not a problem. If it will be a problem, I will get mad. Uh, so this direction and this direction. We can make this a little bit bigger. So we because we have the room here for that. Okay, pr perspective. Uh, zoom on that. Uh, zoom again. <clears throat> now let's go inside and we will go inside and back outside so, oops my bad my bad still this and this again and extrude and we'll go like this down keep it like that here, loop it, and let's go to a nice chamfer here, and we'll try to do a double chamfer. So the value will be now a little bit higher. Apply and like this. Now uh, here at the bottom we know, uh, we don't need to do a double chamfer, so just select the edges, uh, deselect this one, and chamfer this. Make it a little. Not so much, just a little bit like this. And now we try to spell like I wanted before. I would lose just the mouse for this, but because uh, the units are too low, uh, it would be hard. So I will keep this for uh, zero so far, this two, and keep this a little bit. Let's go here a little bit, like 
0.5 just to do something like the chamfer but with using the bevel now apply this will do for zero and with this will go straight up now I think I did all the chamfers uh, too much and we have a little bit um, bigger hole here but but it's fine. Uh, for me, it's fine. Maybe for you, if you want to do exactly a copy of an iPhone, it will be not so fine, but I'm pleased with that. Okay, perspective set. Okay, maybe a little bit outside, just a little. Now, with the selected poly, uh, just check the edge to see everything and we'll do again a double chamfer. I think uh, it looks like the whole figure that uh, we was doing also the chamfers, the double chamfers and stuff like that. But Okay, now back back. Once more, come on. Oops, this like this. I don't want to chamfer that. So again, fly and less like this. Okay, we have this and this, and just let's connect this shape to something. Okay, we'll do a few connections. Now uh, I'm doing this actually really chaotically a little bit, like this, this, and that. But really, if you want to do this much more like nicer. Uh, do it uh, like keep on this more time, but I will not. I don't want the tutorial will have eight hours, and I just will show you how to do an iPhone. It's useless. Okay, let's look. Yeah, it's fine, fine. This uh, here is a little bit something, and actually here. But both we can fix very quickly. Now, for this, we'll just insert this. It should do the trick here. And here, uh, and here, 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 we will do what we will do here. Let's do this. Check this and move the cut also here. This two is enough. And I will do the same here to make it a little bit symmetric. Uh, now I'm sure when I is told, hey, let's go to model iPhone 4, you thought, oh, just an iPhone 4, it will be quick, like one hour with all the talking which I do and it will be done. Oh, it's not. It takes some time. Now, the sides are fine, but what is this? Okay. First, keep it. Keep this to two. And let's go look on this here. It should be actually very quickly. And you see, still some problems. I'm afraid I did something at the bottom when I was selecting. Now, still, this is doing some problems. Oh, I uh huh. Okay. So first, let's go here. Now, now I see this and this. Okay, this is fine. This I know uh, it's doing. And we'll fix also this. Now, just a quick uh, fix this, and we are done, and we can proceed uh, to the next part. So I will do this. Now I will cut it once more. Because it looks like it's too far from this shape. This should be fine. 
and I will cut this here and also here. Okay. <coughs> okay, next thing. Next detail on our iPhone is done. Nice and smooth, no cracks. That's the important thing there. Now, uh, one more thing which we'll uh, do here is some home. Now, we can do this the same technique like this, but I don't know if it's the right uh, approach right now. Because you see, it takes some time to do that. But no, okay, we'll do it like that. I will just check our shape here if it's ready. Yeah, we'll place it here, not the same, the same position like uh, on the reference. So again, circle, auto grade, and make here just a shape. Okay, now I will circle a little bit bigger. Too big. Like this, actually, I forgot on this detail before. Anyway, uh, let's go here, compound, compound, shape merge, thicker shape, select it, back to poly. Now I will try to select just the shape and delete that. Let's go here on vertex. A lot of vertex which we don't need, but uh, we will select this. Just select. Now oh, it's selected. Weld. Uh, where is our circle? Not that. And this is fine. And I will delete some also manually. This and this and this. I will do the cutting work uh, straight. I will anchor them here, here. I can put this here. I will do a cut right here and do something similar also on the other side. Quick, quick. After I will see how it will be looking. No, okay. Let's uh, let's keep this like that. Select the inside. I don't want to cut anything. Set it. Who? Like this. Now extrude this. We'll go to perspective to see it better. And we'll go back. Control edge chamfer on this you will see it very very good. Apply to a double chamfer. <coughs> okay. I will loop both. No, just this one. Loop. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, we will chamfer this just once. I will be better if we do it two times. And let's check this this and let's zoom this a little bit and we need to do something this and in the inside and we are done uh, so uh, one more cut oh, okay two cuts here and here now ah, we can do the same on the bottom so the problem like before uh, with the with my uh, chamfer like double chamfer is that I used uh, really uh, small units uh, which I regret a little bit now because I could do more chamfer also in this model uh, like in this case and so but it doesn't matter uh, actually I did all the chamfers which I wanted to do maybe just once I wanted to do one more uh, but it doesn't matter it's fine like this so okay I think just one thing to fix. Okay, uh, why? Okay, no, why this is happening? 
to a cut here and let's look now. Now it's pointing still. Uh, where it want to go. Okay, I don't understand much why this is going there. Let's just look. There is still this crack. Okay, I need to think for a while. Oops. First of all, I need to turn this off. And I will do one cut here, one more. No, it's still here. Whew. Why it is there? It shouldn't be there. Like the cuts should be fine. Okay, let's try Control A uh, a little bit weld. It's too much for this model. Just wow. We'll use 50 vertex in this, but where? Damn. Like, I understand. Okay, let's try. No, it's actually the same. I'm afraid with this. I destroyed something here. It's possible, actually. But I don't see anything. I could go. Okay, I will keep this better like this. I will not weld everything. Okay, let's let's try to do this very quickly. <coughs> okay, this shape is going to the right, but why? Uh, I don't know. I'll do. Could try. To do one thing. I just want. It's still going <coughs> in the middle. It's annoying a little bit, isn't? Like, there's no reason for that. This actually is doing uh, the problem. Okay, the shape is moving inside. Now, should not go, <coughs> sorry, so far, but it's going, so I'll do a cut here, okay, I can't, I think that's the problem actually. Okay, anyway, uh, I'll fix this later. Now I don't want to take your time, but just with this I'll think about that. Fix this later and uh, when we will fix this, we'll have completely... Ah, also without that, but actually... This model in a good condition. So, like I said before, it's smooth, it's nice, and it's ready to proceed. Like, we can proceed with the model more. Uh, we can just try uh, to apply a smooth modifier for this. So I will just turn it off, smooth and auto smooth. And as you can see, uh, <coughs> maybe it's too much. Okay, I will go try to go a little bit try this and go down just to less a bit more no, it's fine no, it's fine like this so as you can see also without smooth modifier uh, just using this function we have a nice smooth model and this this is the, uh, the important thing by modeling and with this, uh, we can save a, 
a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, police. Like here should be some info. Okay, show me something. Mm. No, I can find it right now. Uh oh. No, it doesn't matter much. Show some frame, view clipping, nothing. Anyway, <coughs> so I have a model which can be used with Mesh Smooth or just Smooth Modifier, which is fine. We'll maybe for the render use just this uh, evaluation modifier. But it is good to know that we are a good way to model this, and we are modeling this right. So uh, in the next part, we will proceed uh, with the left side and at, with the top of the main. I hope we will uh, do it in one part, and after we will go uh, at the top and at the bottom part of the uh, iPhone. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next part. Bye bye.